A couple years ago or so, as part of a remodel that I did on this RV, um, where basically I put down new flooring and I also put in new furniture. And so part of that furniture was that uh, I ordered furniture from shopforseats.com. It's specifically made for RVs. I did post uh, something about that back a couple years ago or so. And I've had several people ask me, how is the furniture holding up? How What is the quality like on this Shop for Seats furniture? Uh, and so here we are a couple years later. I'm actually out uh, in the motorhome in a campsite and I thought I would show you the furniture that I bought and how it's held up. Uh, now, it's, it's about two years later. Um, during that two years, because we're not full timers, so during the, the two years, I would estimate that this furniture has probably seen about six months of actual solid use throughout, okay? And I've got two kids. Uh, we've tra Last trip, we traveled with our dog and our cat. And so, yeah, I guess I could say this furniture has been abused a little bit, but it's held up quite well. So let me actually show you what it looks like now. Okay, so the first thing to show you is the captain's chairs. So here you can see where I drive. And, and you know, this is a pretty light color. This is the ultimate leather. Um, and, um, you know, as you can see, it's held up quite well. It's not uh, cracking or anything. Uh, this is a pretty light colored leather that I got because I felt like it looked good in our rig. And obviously when you go lighter colored, you're going to have little little things show up here because th that's life, you know. And like I say, I think this one over here, I've actually had, I don't know where it is right now, but I, I had the cat claw her way up here one time. But it, it's held up quite nicely, actually. And so this is the ultimate leather. Um, you can see that it's not cracked. It looks good. Um, you know, when, when this rig is in storage, I do keep these curtains closed and everything. So it's not like it's being exposed to the sun a lot. Um, it's got the cover down there. So it looks, it looks good. I mean, um, some people have asked me, is the Ultimate Leather comfortable? And it is. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't call these chairs plush or anything. They, they're a little on the stiff side. However, I, I think they're totally fine. And, uh, I, you know, I've, we're not huge travelers. So basically when we're, at, when we're covering ground, um, I usually drive for five or six hours and then I'm sort of done, but it's not because of the chair It's just what we prefer, but I have no problem. It's a very comfortable chair um, And it sure looks a hell of a lot better than what we had before Okay, here's our couch um, Offhand I totally for I don't remember what the model of this is uh, on uh, Shop for seats. I can always post it with the video description here, but just like the captain's chairs It's held up pretty well um, it's, uh, just like the captain's chair, just not cracked or anything. Um, it does have a few little marks that have happened to it because, it, you know, it does get used. And this is a light colored fabric, as we said, but it, it looks really good. Just like the captain's chairs, I don't think I would call this super plush. Uh, it's not overly stiff, but I guess everybody would have their own opinion. But it's not, you don't, like, fall into this this couch when you sit in it. It sort of just... <laughs> sits there it's it's a little on the stiff side but not uncomfortable for us but some people could potentially think that it is and i and maybe shopper seats has um softer cushions i'm not really sure um we had went ahead and decided to put this thing in so my kids can store bedding and stuff in it so it's very very handy um makes for a nice use of space um, these things right here come off, but we got the cup holders, but they come off. So I can actually show you that this thing goes into sleeper mode. Let me pull that out. There it is in sleeper mode. So it kind of, uh, it's like a jackknife type of a situation and it works out nice. Usually my son sleeps on this. Um, un, you know, it doesn't have a weird drop. Sometimes we've seen sleepers that have like a major elevation change between the part you sit on and the back. This one is pretty level. You do obviously have that, but there's not much you can do about it. Um, but it works out nicely. You just take the armrest off and fold it down. Pretty easy. And then when you're done, you put it back. Lastly, we have the dinette booth. You know, same color, same exact fabric. This is the ultimate leather. Um, there's my AC. Uh, so basically, it, it's about the same situation. Um, it looks nice. Uh, it's got a few little uh things where it's just colored a little bit but it that's because it obviously gets used a lot i think i even see some pet hair there um so but it's it's held up pretty well no cracking anything like that let's pop over to this side 
same situation. I think I see a little thing there that was probably caused by my cat. So, you know, when, when you have a rig and it's being used, little things are going to happen to it. But, um, but it's held up pretty well. I mean, really no complaints. Now, there is one issue that we've had with this setup. And let me show you that when we fold it down. All right, so I've just put the dinette down into sleeper mode, so to speak, and you can see the problem with it. Um, these cushions don't fit. We didn't have this problem with the last one uh, because I guess it was built specifically by Holiday Rambler, but and this one's aftermarket, but that is one issue that we've definitely had with this. And so what happens is we can't keep that cushion in there, and we got this seriously weird gap. So. We don't really use this thing so much anymore for sleeping. My daughter actually, what she has done, especially now that she's a little bigger, she's actually had to put a, we got a roll away thing that sits right here. So it's a little weird, but it does work for her. She seems to like it better, but that's a bit of a weird thing. And I don't, I don't exactly know what you would do about it. Um, this was a, definitely a surprise when we got this furniture. So it's working out really well, but I will say that we're a little disappointed with how it works when you try to fold the thing down. And I'm not sure if we're doing something weird, but I mean, there's only so much you can do about that. All right, well, there you have it. That is our Shop for Seats furniture after a couple of years. Um, you know, so it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Uh, it's, it, you know, like any, RV furniture you're gonna sort of pay a pretty penny for it so I'm going out of memory here but I think I paid close to $3,400 for this a couple of years ago for everything that I just showed you um, and um, you know so it's not something you're not gonna get really an R you know a financial ROI from it um, it's you know when I do eventually sell this motorhome I really don't think it's gonna have a lot to do with what I can sell it for. So it is one of those things that you do mainly because you just have pride in your RV and you want it to look nice. And it definitely has improved the uh, overall look of this motorhome from the old stripey 70 looking stuff that came with it. I mean, this is not what the Holiday Rambler Vacationer looked like out the gate. And you know, it's, I, we still got a few things like that little, the, the valences and stuff that we might replace at some point, but it looks a heck of a lot nicer than what it originally came in. Um, and that's sort of uh, what we were going for. So mission accomplished in that regard.